हेलो एवरीवन द क्वेश्चन इज द नंबर ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स पार्टिसिपेटिंग इन टू कॉर्पोरेट कॉम्पिटिशन पी एंड क्यू फ्रॉम अ बी स्कूल आई एम ए आर नाइन्टी सिक्स एंड वन थर्टी रिस्पेक्टिवली सो देर इज अ बी स्कूल आई एम ए एंड फ्रॉम दैट द स्टूडेंट्स हु आर पार्टिसिपेटिंग इन कॉम्पिटिशन पी एंड क्यू हैव बीन गिवन एज नाइन्टी सिक्स एंड वन थर्टी रिस्पेक्टिवली देन द टोटल नंबर ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स पार्टिसिपेटिंग इन पी एंड क्यू फ्रॉम ऑल बी स्कूल्स आर टू फिफ्टी टू एंड टू फोर्टी रिस्पेक्टिवली Now we have been given the total number of students who are participating in P and Q from all the B schools. Then the number of students in I M A are one hundred ninety. So we have been given the total number of students in I M A, which is one hundred ninety, and total number of students in all the B schools are four hundred forty. So there are total four hundred forty students in all the B schools, including I M A as well. The questions that we have are: find the number of students not from I M A and participating in competition P only. Second one is find the number of students not in IMA and participating in both competitions P and Q. Third one is find the number of students of IMA participating in only competition Q. Fourth one is find the total number of students participating in only competition Q. So in all the questions given to us, we can notice the term both only, and I hope you are already familiar with these terms in Venn diagrams. So let us go to the next slide and solve the first question. The first question is find the number of students not from IMA and participating in competition P only. So how to find out number of students not from IMA and participating in competition P only? First of all, we can find out number of students from all B schools which are participating in P only and from that we can remove number of students who are from IMA and who are participating in p only so that is how we can get the number of students not from ima and participating in p only so first of all let us find out number of students who are from ima and who are participating in p only in the first line we have been given that number of students who are from ima and are participating in competitions p and q are 96 and 130 so by using the union formula that is a union b or i can write p union q is equals to p plus q minus p intersection q over here so p union q is nothing but the total students in ima which is 190 so let me write 190 equals to p plus q that means student participating in p and student participating in q from ima which is 96 plus 130 minus p intersection q so solving this we get p intersection q equals to 36 i hope this much is clear now we can use this p intersection q to find out number of students who are from ima and are participating in p only so for that what we have to do is we have to find out all the students from ima who are participating in p that means the whole set of p and from that we'll remove the students who are participating in both p and q so this will be the area for both p and q we know that p intersection q is 36 we just found it out over here so this will be the area representing students from ima and participating in p only so what is the total number of students in ima in set of p it is equal to 96 and what is p intersection q it is 36 so 96 minus 36 will give us 60 so basically 60 is number of students who are from ima and participating in p only so this is equal to 60 i hope this is clear how we found out this quantity over here ima and p only first of all we calculated number of students who are participating in both p and q and r from ima and then we subtracted this p and q from the set of p in ima so after this we get 60 because the set of this whole p was 96 and p intersection q was 36 so p only that means this region over here its value will be equal to 60 now we need to find out students from all b schools who are participating in p only so let's try to find it out now again what we have to do is to find out students from all b schools and participating in p only first of all we'll try to find out all the students who are participating in both and are from 
all the B schools and we'll subtract this both number of students from the set of P and R from all B schools. So can you tell me the number of students who belong to all B schools and are participating in P? It has been given in the second line. The total number of students participating in P and Q from all B schools are 252 and 240 respectively. So the students who are from all B schools and participating in P is equal to 252. Let us try to find out the number of students who are from all B schools and participating in both P and Q. So we'll again use the union formula over here. P union Q is equal to P plus Q minus P intersection Q. We are calculating this for all B schools. And in the earlier case, this was for I am A only, okay? So P union Q, what is the total number of students in all B schools? It is equal to 440 given to us, 440. This will be equal to number of students who are from all B schools and participating in P. It is equal to 252 plus 240 for Q minus P intersection Q. So when we solve this, we get P intersection Q equals to how much? It will be equal to 52. So now we have number of students who are participating in both P and Q and are from all B schools. And we need to find out students who are from all B schools and participating in P only. For that, we'll have to remove students who are participating in both from the whole set of P. So whole set of P is equal to 252. From that, we'll remove both. We just calculated both. It is equal to 52. So we get 200 as the number of students who are from all B schools and participating in P only. So we get it as 200. Now what is the question? It is telling us to find out the number of students not from IMA and participating in competition P only. So students who are from all B schools and participating in P only it is equal to 200 over here. Students who are from IMA and participating in P only is equal to 60 over here. So how to find out number of students not from IMA and participating in P only? We simply subtract the 60 from 200. That means we'll subtract student from IMA and participating from P only from this students who are in P only and from all B schools. So this will be equal to 140. So the correct answer to the first question will be 140. I hope this is understood. This is totally based upon the basics of Venn diagrams. We'll try to solve the second question now. I hope this is understood. The second question is, find the number of students not in IMA and participating in both competitions P and Q. So this is also very easy if you are familiar with the basics of Venn diagrams. Now we need to find out number of students not in IMA and participating in both competitions P and Q. So not from IMA, that means we'll remove students who are from IMA from all but we have to do it for both that means we'll calculate students who are participating in both from all B schools and students who are participating in both from IMA so we have calculated both the quantities in the previous questions students who are from all the B schools and participating in both it was equal to 52 students who are from IMA and participating in both the competitions was equal to 36 so we just need to find out this it will be equal to 52 minus 36 that means 16 so option b will be the correct answer i hope you are able to understand this is the very basic of venn diagrams if i ask you to calculate it, students who are not in a particular region so what you do is you remove that region from all now let us try to solve the third question the third question is find the number of students of ima participating in only competition q so how to find this out? First of all, we'll find out all the students who are from IMA and belong to set Q. From that, we'll remove the region of both P and Q. So this is how we'll find out the number of students of IMA participating in only competition Q. So we'll find out the number of students who are in IMA and participating in competition Q. This will be the whole set. And to find out only competition queue, we'll remove the students from IMA who are participating in both P and Q. So we have calculated this already in the previous question. Students who are from IMA and participating in both 
you can go to the previous slides to check the quantity it was equal to 36 and what is the number of students who are in IMA and participating in Q it is given to us in the first line it is equal to 130 so to find out students of IMA participating in only competition Q we'll subtract 36 from 130 which will give us the answer as 94 so option B is the correct answer to this question till now all the three questions were based upon the very basics of Venn diagrams and I hope you have understood all of them let's try to solve the last question now the last question is find the total number of students participating in only competition Q so total number of students participating only in competition Q for that we'll have to find out all students who are participating in Q so it has been given to us as 240 over here because total number of students participating in P and Q from all B schools are 252 and 240 respectively so all students participating in Q from all B schools is equal to how much 240 but we need to find out only in competition Q so that means from this we'll have to remove the students who are from both P and Q and belong to all B schools so all the students who are participating in P and Q we have already calculated this in the previous questions this was equal to 52 you can see the first slide over here students who are from all B schools and participating and P and Q is equal to 52 so we'll be using this in the last question so we simply have to subtract all the students who are participating in both from all the students who are participating in Q to find out this only competition Q so when we subtract 52 from 240 it is equal to how much it will be equal to 881 that means 188 option D is the correct answer so this was a very easy question I hope you all solved it if there's any doubt you can ask again thank you